We'll be seeing all the iconic masterpieces of the Dutch Golden Age, and foremost among those is uh, Rembrandt's The Night Watch, completed in 1642. It completely revolutionized the way that uh, militia portraits were executed. It added movement and action to these previously staid lineups. We couldn't go to the Netherlands without seeing the work of the peerless Johannes Vermeer. We go to the Maritz House in The Hague and we'll look at his wonderful girl with a pearl earring. Every bit as enigmatic, I think, as the Mona Lisa. She's turning towards the viewer, or is she turning away? We can't quite be sure. It has a hypnotic influence on, on the people in that room. It casts a spell to such an extent that you don't want to turn away yourself. Among the slightly lesser known artists we'll see is Jan Steen. Now his raucous and boisterous images of dissolute households and disorderly taverns, he's absolutely the polar opposite of the sort of um, serene and calm and silent images that we see with Vermeer. One of my favorites is the picture in the Rijksmuseum which shows a, a group of children teaching a cat to dance and the, the cat is uh, howling and the dog is barking but the children are singing and playing the flute none too tunefully, one suspects. And to cap it all, at the top, a window opens and a man leans out and telling them all to shut up. It's a noisy image. If paintings can be noisy, you almost feel like you need earplugs to stand in front of it. One of the great joys of going on an ACE tour is that you get such a variety of very interesting people, and they always bring a new perspective to, to looking at this art. And of course, we always have time um, to discuss it afterwards in, in, um, when we go out to eat in the evenings. And it, that becomes, rather than a tutorial, a very lovely social exchange of views uh, and, and observations on what we've just seen during the day.